everybody, great to see you again. My name's Del and I'm from Polka Theatre and today I invite all of you to bring to life and act out the next part of Mo's story. Hello everyone, I'm Mo. Remember Mo is the same age as you and his story is all about some of the strange and difficult things that have happened to him since coronavirus came along. Last time we helped Mo when he was feeling sad and lonely because he wasn't allowed to have lots of his friends round his house to play. I wonder what's going to happen in Mo's story this time. Hmm. Do you think anything that's going to happen in the story might be similar for you? I wonder if you might feel some of the same feelings that Mo feels. Before we start telling our story, we need to do our big hello waves to say hello to Mo and to all of our friends. So before we start telling the story, we're going to say hello to our friends and hello to Mo. So can you rub your hands together? Get them really nice and warm. That's it. Rub them together. Then stretch up high and wave and say hello sky. Hello sky. Then wave all around you, big waves and say hello friends. Hello friends. Then bend down low and wave hello Mo. Hello, Mo. Hmm, I wonder what voices we'll do this time. Let's start off with a robot's voice. Here it is, I'm gonna pass it to you. Get ready to take it. So put your robot's voice into your mouth and give it a chew. Chew that robot's voice. Then get your robot hands and rub them together. Then stretch up as high as you can and with your robot voice we're going to say Hello Sky! Hello Sky! Then big waves all around, let's say hello to our friends with our robot voices. Hello friends! Hello friends! Then bend down low, let's say hello to Mo. Hello Mo! Hello Mo! Okay, take out your robot voice. This time, I'm going to pass you a whispering voice. Here it is. Get ready to take it. Are you ready? And put your whispering voice into your mouth and give it a chew. Let's see what your whispering voices sound like. So rub your hands together, get them really nice and warm. And stretch up as high as you can and in your whispering voice. Hello Sky. Hello Sky. Wave all around. Hello friends. Hello friends. Bend down low. Hello Mo. Hello Mo. And take your whispering voice out and put your own voice back in. And now it's time for us to start telling Mo's story. you about something that happened the other day. I was drawing pictures. Do you like to draw? What do you like to draw pictures of? I was drawing dragons and animals and a palace and then I was missing my auntie so I decided to draw a picture of her and me and all my cousins together. It was brilliant! Why don't we all draw some pictures together? Do you like drawing like Mo? Well now we're going to pretend that we're Mo. We're going to use our fingers as our pencils and we're going to draw pictures in the air around us. So I'm going to put some music on and I'm going to call out what I'd like you to draw a picture of and you're going to draw it in the air around you. Let's get going. A tree!
pictures are brilliant. Mo's going to love them. Let's go and show them to him. Wow! Your pictures are so good. You should be really proud of yourselves. Can I show you the picture I did? The one I drew of my family? Here it is. I really, really wanted to take my picture to my auntie's house to give to her as a present. But Mum said, Because of coronavirus, you're not allowed to go and visit your auntie. You have to try and stay at home. But I always go to my auntie's house. I sometimes stay over with my cousins. Oh, horrible coronavirus. It's not fair. It makes me feel so... Ah! How do you think Mo felt when he wasn't allowed to go and visit his auntie, who he visits all the time? He sometimes even has sleepovers there, but he wasn't allowed to visit her. How did he feel? allowed to go. <sighs> Mo felt really angry. He really wanted to go and visit his auntie, but he was not allowed to. It was out of his control and it made him feel angry. So Mo is feeling really angry. Let's pretend that we're Mo. into a statue of Angry Mo. Now, can you stamp your feet like Mo when he's really angry and say, it's not fair in an angry voice. It's not fair. 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 So do you ever feel angry like Mo feels angry? And when you feel angry, where can you feel it in your body? Do you feel it in your hands? Perhaps you hold your hands very tightly. Do you feel it in your face? Or maybe you feel it in your chest or in your tummy. Where do you feel it in your body? to sing Mo's angry song that will tell you about all the places that Mo feels anger in his body. So I'm going to go first with the singing and the actions and I'd like you to copy back. When I am angry, when I feel it in my body. I feel it in my chest. I feel it in my chest. I breathe a bit faster. I breathe a bit faster. When I am angry. I feel it in my body. I feel it in my body. I feel it in my hands. I feel it in my hands. I want to lash out. 
when I am angry. I feel it in my body. I feel it in my teeth. I feel it in my teeth. My face goes red. My face goes red. When I am angry. When I am angry. I feel it in my body. I feel it in my body. I feel it in my belly. I feel it in my belly. I want to scream and shout. I want to scream and shout. So those are all the places that Mo can feel anger in his body. <sighs> That's just what I felt like when I couldn't take my picture to my auntie's house. I stamped my feet and I shouted and I lashed out. I just didn't know what to do with all that anger. Do you ever feel angry? It's hard, isn't it? <sighs> Mo, it's okay to feel angry. Everyone feels angry sometimes. We just need to make sure that when we're feeling angry, we don't hurt ourselves or hurt other people or hurt things. So how can we help Mo? What can we do when we're feeling angry? What can we do with all of that anger? that we're Mo. Mo is feeling very angry because he's not allowed to take that picture to his auntie's house. So we're going to stomp around as angry Mo but when the music stops we're going to freeze in a statue of angry Mo. It's a bit like musical statues. <laughs> we're going to try something that might help Mo to manage his anger. Off we stomp. When you're feeling angry, you can count slowly up to 10. Join in with the counting. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Off we stomp. When you're feeling angry, you could draw a picture of your anger. Draw a picture of your anger. Let's draw a picture of our anger. We stomp. When you're feeling angry, you can open and close your hands. Join in with opening and closing your hands. around yourself and give yourself a big hug. Give yourself a big hug. So stretch out wide and give yourself a big hug. One more time, stretch out wide and give yourselves a big hug. 
then off we stomp. When you're feeling angry, you can take your hands and push them together as hard as you can. Join in with pushing your hands together. Join in with the breathing square. So draw a square in the air with your finger in front of you. One, two, three, four. This time we're going to breathe in and out as we draw that square. Then the last time, off we stop. When you're feeling angry, you can talk to someone about how you're feeling. Talk to someone about how you're feeling. So can you make your hands into two mouths and let's have a chat. ideas there for you Mo of things you can do when you're feeling angry to make sure that you don't hurt yourself you don't hurt anybody else and you don't hurt anything around you wow thanks for all these ideas they're great next time I'm feeling angry I'm going to try some of these counting to ten doing a breathing square talking to someone drawing a picture of the anger there are so many things I can try and remember, you can try some too, if you're ever feeling angry. So Mo was feeling really angry because he wasn't allowed to go and visit his auntie to take the picture for her. What sort of things make you feel angry inside? to feel angry. Everybody does feel angry. So all of those great ideas that you gave to Mo today, you could try those out yourself the next time that you're feeling angry. Now we're going to finish off by sending our happiness waves to all of our friends and to Mo. So it could be friends that are near and friends that are far. When the music plays, let's get our happiness waves going. Off we go! for helping to tell Mo's story today. I look forward to seeing you next time for the last part of Mo's story. Bye everybody!